I could all now stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Okay, Mr. Janicki, roll call, please. Mr. Swinehart. Mr. Saccone. Here. Mr. DiPietro. Here. Mr. Kushner. Here. Mr. Buffalini. Here. Are there any public comments on the agenda uh, items? Any, uh, you're welcome to, uh, uh, regarding the following uh, business agenda items to be acted upon tonight. Any comments? Okay. Okay, we'll get into our business agenda at this time. The tax collector's report and treasurer's report are available for public inspection at the Hopewell Township Municipal Building. First, I need a motion to approve the January 28, 2019 business meeting minutes. Do I have a motion? So moved. Mr. Kushner, do I have a second? Second. Mr. Saccone, roll call. Mr. Saccone. Mr. Saccone. Hello? Hello? Yes, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Yes. yes, okay. Mr. DiPietro. Yes. Mr. Yes. Kushner. Yes. Mr. Buffalini. Yes. Motion carried. Need a motion to approve the list of bills dated February 25th, 2019 as presented. General fund, 81254 and 53 cents. Sewer fund, 43038 and 58 cents. State fund, Thirty-one thousand eight forty-seven and ninety-two cents. Do I have a motion? So moved. Mr. Mr. Saccone, do I have a second? Second. Mr. Kushner, roll call. Mr. Saccone. Yes. Mr. DiPietro. Yes. Mr. Kushner. Yes. Mr. Buffalini. Yes. Motion carried. Need a motion to approve Chandler Demeron's dog park design as presented and previously approved approved by the park board. Do I have a motion? So moved. Mr. DiPietro, I'll second. Roll call. Mr. Saccone. Yes. Mr. DiPietro. Yes. Mr. Kushner. Yes. Mr. Buffalini. Yes. Motion carried. Need a motion to approve the 2019 agreement with Pauli, Paul Pyrotechnio for fireworks display at the 2019 Community Day uh, at a cost of $5,250. Do I have a motion? So moved. Mr. Kushner, do I have a second? Second. Second. Mr. DiPietro, roll call. Mr. Saccone. Yes. Mr. DiPietro. Yes. Mr. Kushner. Yes. Mr. Buffalini. Yes. Motion carried. Need a motion to approve jo Joseph Kushner as an authorized signer and remove uh, John Norman Krause Jr. and Marie Hartman from West Banco accounts. Do I have a motion? So moved. So moved. Mr. DiPietro and seconded by Mr. Saccone. Roll call. Mr. Saccone. Yes. Mr. DiPietro. Yes. Mr. Kushner. Abstain. Mr. Buffalini. Yes. Motion carried. Next, we need a motion to approve Joseph Kushner as an authorized signer and remove John Norman Krause Jr. and Marie Hartman from the Pliggett State Fund <coughs> accounts. Do I have a motion? I'll, motion. Ma I'll make the motion. And Mr. Saccone seconds. Roll call. Mr. Saccone. Yes. Mr. DiPietro. Yes. Mr. Kushner. Abstain. Mr. Buffalini. Yes. Motion carried. Okay, we'll go to our departments. Uh, Police Chief uh, Ermacher's uh, not available tonight. He's out of town. And we have Sergeant uh, McMasters. Matt McMasters. <laughs> You can give you. us your report for the police department. Thank you, Mr. President, again, Sergeant McMasters on behalf of the police departments. Um, the list for the uh, month of January 2019. Police patrol vehicle mileage uh, is above monthly averages. Uh, police call for services are below monthly averages. Uh, incidents are also below monthly average. Arrests are down below monthly average, and citations are down below monthly average. Um, Chief Ermacher attended the Beaver County uh, Police Chiefs Association meeting along with the uh, Safe Schools meeting. 
the policy meeting with uh, Ambridge Police Chief Ramitis and the Hopewell Fire Department banquets and the Beaver County Polar Plunge for Special Olympics. Uh, Hopewell Township hosted a countywide product demonstration for the uh, OSCR crime scene camera from Eltron Corporation. And uh, in January, Hopewell officers attended and certified in first aid CPR and AED. And Hopewell officers provided security at the Hopewell High School basketball games. Mr. President, that concludes my report. Okay, thank you, Sergeant Ambassadors. Uh, Mr. Thompson, the steward department, please. Thank you, Mr. President. <clears throat> Month of January, the water pollution control system responded to 35 PA1 calls, two residential sewer complaints, and two sanitary, sanitary lateral inspections. One was a restoration, one was a partial restoration. There was one emergency call out to the pump stations, one for the sanitary sewer lateral plug, all preventive maintenance and repairs were completed on the vehicle fleet, two treatment plants, and 10 pump stations. 21,000 gallons of sludge was hauled from Wickham Village plant to the Raccoon Creek plant. 211,000 gallons of supernate was decanted off the aerobic digesters and 216,000 gallons of digested sludge was pressed at an average of 13.8% solids. Over 5,000 feet of sanitary sewer main lines were jetted Approximately 4,500 feet of lines were televised, and various trouble areas throughout the township were flushed to clean the main sewer lines. All parameters were met at the Raccoon Creek and Wickham Village treatment plants. That concludes my report. Okay, thank you, Mr. Thompson. Mr. Krieger, Road Department, please. Your thank report. you, Mr. President. Uh, for Hopewell Township Road Department, January 2019, uh, <clears throat> we finished removing brush and tree waste from the depository, so it's ready to go in the spring. Removed fallen tree at Lakewood and the municipal building. Installed under drain at the end of Longview to alleviate the ice issue that was on Broadhead Road. We fabricated and installed new fenders on our uh, black uh, equipment trailer, and we wound up painting the entire trailer as well. Uh, installed strobes on the high lift roof and new wear plates on the bucket. Mixed and stocked 325 tons of salt and 100 tons of anti-skid. Patched potholes throughout the entire month of January as we could. And uh, the snow removal throughout the entire month of January resulted in 10 call outs totaling, totaling 30.75 hours of overtime. That's all I have, Mr. President. Okay, thank you, Mr. Sir. Mr. Miller, KCI Technologies, engineering thank you. firm. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, KCI has uh, reviewed the Xyla proposal for the control system upgrades at the Raccoon, Raccoon, Raccoon Creek Wastewater Treatment Plant and discussed it with uh, Chris Thompson during a follow-up meeting at the plant. Um, proposed up upgrades will give the operators more robust control of the system. Um, KCI all, I also reviewed um, its recycling data, data for 2018 and has prepared the report uh, for submission tomorrow uh, via like, email to the county. The Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection portion of the report isn't due until September 2019, and the forms for that report are not yet available from the state. Once they become available, uh, we'll prepare the submission for the state. Um, see. Township also received, and KCI is reviewing, a permit application for a sewer extension along Todd Road. Uh, we met with KCI met with John Bates, Chris Thompson, and, and Jamie to review the plan, and there was some concern perhaps about how the, the gravity sewer system. So we're going to have a meeting with the uh, with JJ Stefanik to review this and, and look at options. Uh, KCI also spent some time touring the collection system and treatment plants with Chris and Jamie. Um, had some introductory meetings with the road department, parks department. And we're just getting up to speed with all the departments. KCI is also looking to potential grant funding for opportunities for portions of other potential projects, including treatment plant, as well as the Hopewell Park. More information, we anticipate more informa information in the, uh, in the next coming up reports. KC also uh, is scheduled a meeting later this month uh, to, to talk about the GIS and asset management tools um, the sewer department and stormwater management personnel are using, uh, potentially using, and looking at options to optimize that going forward. And uh, finally, um, continue to, work, to get into the projects that already exist. 
kind of get up to speed and we'll hopefully put the full speed by the end of uh, next month. That concludes my report. Okay, thank you, Mr. Miller. Mr. Bates, Planning and Zoning, Code Enforcement. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, ladies and gentlemen. Hopewell Township Building and Zoning Report for January 2019. During the month of January, eight permits were approved. Permits were issued for the following construction projects. There were four single family homes, one addition, one a ground, above ground pool. There were eight electrical permits issued and there was one site inspection for a daycare school. Also, we had one industrial park sign. The zoning report, uh, I investigated property complaints and started corrective action. Sent certified mail to property owners concerning violations. I informed property owners and contacted Beaver County for property assessments. Issued new addresses with the post office and Beaver County 911. I filed the 2018 flood plain report with Pennsylvania Community Development. I attended a quarterly training for, with the Beaver County Emergency Management Agency. Uh, there was one timber harvest permit application I reviewed. I issued zoning permits for various accessory use projects. Contacted PennDOT with various stormwater concerns. Submitted the 2018 building stats and paid fees to the Pennsylvania UCC training fund and I attended the uh, census count committee meeting at the Beaver County Courthouse. Planning report, the next planning commission meeting will be Thursday, March 21st, 2019. As I reported last month, the planning commission reorganized at their January meeting and the same officers were reinstated at the Planning Commission. Uh, there's, doesn't seem like there's a lot of property owner residents in the building tonight, but property owners are asked to post their address numbers so that you can clearly see them from the street. Um, having your number back in the bushes is, is not good when 911's trying to find you in an emergency. Keep your dog under control at all times. Keep all refuse in bags with cans and lids, and they're not to be at the curb for pickup and until t uh, 12 hours prior. And lastly, the dumping of miscellaneous items along state where township roads is illegal. That's all I have. Okay, Mr. Bates, thank you. <clears throat> all right, is there anything under old business? Anything under new? I just have one thing I'd like to mention. We got a uh, thank you letter from the uh, area, area of uh, Veterans Service Center. Uh, we made a donation to them, which we do every year. And we got a thank you letter from them, and it just wanted to recognize uh, Barbara Kamaker, who's the director here at the Veterans uh, Service Center. Uh, at this point, we have citizens form. Any comments or questions? We ask the residents to state their name and address, be brief and to the point, and groups should be represented by one spokesperson. Do we have anything? Yes, sir. Do I sit and stand? What do I? Yeah, you can yes. stand. Okay. Um, my name is Bill Wise. I live at 5 Ross Drive. Um, I have here a ordinance that was adopted in 93. And it states that 792 lineal feet of Ross Drive was to be adopted by the township. Um, I measured it the other day and 792 feet has not been paved. There's approximately 60 feet that goes in front of my home that hasn't been paved. Um, I know the township used to plow it and salt it before we moved in. Um, he lives at seven, I live at five. And the gentleman that used to live at seven complained that 
the gravel that he had put down was being pushed to the end of the road. So he asked not to have it done anymore. Um, I have re-put gravel down on the road because I was told that was my responsibility until I found this, or this paper was given to me. So my question is, when the road comes up to be paved again, does all 792 feet get paved? Well, what we're gonna have to do is have our engineer go out there and, and check it out and measure everything okay in our road department uh, and let's see see where we stand with that you know uh, if it is yeah the 700 and some feet would be paved okay if it is taken over okay. I don't know if there was a problem back back when before you moved there it was they, before both of us moved. yeah he didn't want uh, them to, to to pave it that far well the road was never paved it okay. stopped it and I have a picture of it if you uh -huh. need to see it it's up to you um, of where it stops at the like the church Church stop right at our church and then right. it looks like it's just a dry, gravel driveway right. which we have put the gravel down and the gentleman before us as they plowed it they pushed the gravel down and he didn't like that um my that was my question was when it comes to being repaved will it be done 700 yeah this, this is what i say we'll get the the road department and engineer up there okay to again to uh uh, to measure it, check it, and, and, and see. And by, when we get up there to do the paving, okay. uh, we'll see We'll see how far. And we'll probably will go the other 200 foot, I would imagine. Uh, it's only like 60 feet. Or 60 foot. Yeah, yeah, you can tell where they ran the last little bit. They ran out of blacktop and blacktop. just kind of rolled it and left right. it. And, and, and right. you know, that, that's all, you know, we were hoping to get accomplished. Because it? then it only leaves, what, like 40 feet left of... Of road the gravel, that has this um, gravel. Well, there's um, the township dropped off road clippings for us that uh, Millings, like two Millings, years ago. Millings, Millings, thank you. I'm sorry. Which we had, yeah, that was okay. Fun. With, uh, uh, we do our road programs. We'll be up, check it out, and uh, and probably if we're gonna, uh, you know, redo that road, we're gonna finish that off. I, I would imagine 60 feet. Okay, uh, that shouldn't be a problem. The last thing I have is, will I be told, or will I just have to wait until they come and do it? Like, well, just how do a, I find out? Well, it depends. Our usually our road program will, will, will work a year in advance. We primarily know what roads we're doing this year. No, no, no. I mean, like if Mr. Engineer comes up and checks it, like, well, I know whether or not that is supposed to be paved or if it's not going to be. Yeah, paved. once he gets his uh, his report done and everything, we'll, we'll let you know. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you so much. Sure. Could I ask you what ordinance number that is, just so I can. 93-4. 93-4. Uh, Do you need okay. it? I can look at it after. Okay. After we're done. Thanks. And it was section I. Okay. Anyone else? Thank you. Yes. Yes, that's just me. Yes. Cindy <laughs> Murphy from the library. I bet you thought I all retired, huh? It's been a while. So, I haven't seen um, you for a while. Yeah, I know. Um, not, I just wanted to tell you a little bit that's going on. I left calendars on your um, tables and stuff, but we do have our Unplugged at the Library event coming up March 15th with Dan Boobian. And um, we also have a murder mystery that we're going to have on April 27th. So just a couple things that are going on. And also it's our 90th birthday, and Sandy, who's not here tonight, arranged for the um, being county commissioners to do a proclamation this Thursday at 10 o'clock at the courthouse if anybody's interested. Okay, good. That's about it. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. Okay. Uh, if, if, if any of you haven't been down to the library to see the, uh, their functions in this uh, session of BF Jones Unplugged, uh, it's, a, it's a very good evening, very nice time. Uh, and of course it helps, uh, it helps the library. Yes, so, it does. Every little bit helps. That's right. So if any of you haven't been down there, if you if you have an opportunity to get down there and uh, and participate in the, in those down there, you'll you'll be uh, you'll be happy you did. Okay. Anyone else? No one. Okay. Just got a couple announcements. Please vi visit our website at hopewelltwp.com, dot com, our Facebook page and Twitter for updates on Hopewell Township news and events. At this time, I believe we have an executive session set up. We do. We need to discuss. Um, there's another police arbitration that's coming up on Monday. We need to have a brief discussion about that. 
Um, we need to discuss the negotiations with regard to the school resource officer with the school district. And we need to discuss uh, just briefly the um, contract with KCI engineer. Okay. And we may take action on those items. So we may be coming back out to take action. Take action. Mm -hmm. So at this time, we're uh, going to go into executive session. Uh, when we're done, if uh, we're going to take any action, we'll be back out to uh, to do that. If you're if you want to wait till after our executive session, you're welcome to. Right now, we're going to go to executive session. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.